five, four, three, two. My students got a chance to do something low tech. Uh, we actually had all of our laptops being serviced. They were getting re-imaged. Uh, great opportunity for us to do something different. So we took some scratch piece of paper. This is from our engineering notebooks. Uh, we took this piece of paper and some masking tape and I had them do a project. And once I put them into groups, I gave them their first challenge. And their first challenge was to build a structure uh, that would extend as tall as it could vertically. Uh, and so I kind of alluded to, hey, we're doing vertically. And so they went ahead and they built stuff. And they had six pieces of paper. Just gave them six pieces of paper. And then I did two strips of tape. Uh, it was about a meter in length. Uh, so it was two strips of a meter long tape. Uh, I just went to the top of my standing desks and just pulled straight down. So they started off with that and I gave them time to plan and discuss. And I tried different methods. I tried um, a two minute planning period by yourself and then three minutes of discussing. That didn't work out really well. Uh, the kids were just kind of quiet but then staring at each other and like mouthing. So I just said, you know what, forget it. Here we go, five minutes planning and discussing. Uh, the first group I did, I gave them a little less time than I expected for the build time. Uh, during the build phase, I thought it would be you know, a little bit faster because they had some time to plan and discuss. Uh, but it was really actually interesting to extend that time um, with my other classes and watch them develop and uh, deliberate on their designs. Uh, so they would argue and they would uh, you know, kind of critique each other's designs and the, the template and the ideas. So whenever we did that, uh, we actually watched kind of their ideas grow. Uh, so I went ahead and moved it from um, kind of a five minute and five minute to a five minute and eight minute period. And so they had eight minutes to build and it was quite wonderful. During that time, I had to make sure that they understood that there were things that they could not do. Like they couldn't tape it to the ceiling, they couldn't tape it to the wall, they couldn't tape it to the table, and then turn the table on its side and let that be the height. Uh, I had to use words like perpendicular. Um, I had to really kind of challenge them to stop trying to find shortcuts and actually take on the problem head on. Like really at the top of the place, but use. That's what we're fixing. Buckle me. Somebody start taping the base. I've got two. How long do we want that? I'm going to see, and then we're going to tape it. Let's see what Devin's doing. Make like puzzle pieces to fit them together. Make another piece like that. Another thing I did before I gave them all the details for uh, the challenge number one is I made sure I let them know after challenge one they would receive more supplies. So after challenge one, I gave them three more sheets of paper and then two more strips of tape. This let them know that their resources weren't going to be completely capped or they would have to be uh, scarce with them and very careful uh, that they could actually just use them and accomplish objective number one and then would accomplish objective number two. What are the highest? Are you going to measure up? 30. Oh, wow, I'm going to say 30 inches? No! It's below so as well. No! No! Three inches! I told you we were supposed to... Tap it. What else? Touch it. Tap it. 52 inches. Yeah. Wait, wait. Ours was like six. I allowed them uh, two to three minutes to discuss about what their ideas were, things that they would change, things that they liked, uh, things that they would uh, never do again. During this time, I was able to go around and hand out the new supplies for the next objective and put down the tape. Uh, and once I gathered them up again, I was able to go ahead and deliver objective number two. Objective number two was fun because instead of being vertical, it was going to be horizontal. Uh, and this allowed for the students to really kind of challenge themselves. Uh, so they were uh, taking their designs, and if you did well in objective number one, you probably did well in objective number two. And they attached that to the end of the table. So on the ends of the table, they'd have to go out horizontally, and some of them drooped. Uh, but I still did the horizontal distance away from that edge of the table, and that was their distance. And that would be, you know, what decided who was the winner or not. Again, I gave them five minutes for planning and discussing, and then eight minutes to build and execute. During this time, it was really fun because the students decided that they would either stick with what they were doing before, so if they chose uh, triangular prisms or cylinders, they would eventually start you know, watching that progress into a good idea or a bad idea as they went horizontal. Oh. 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 
That's that. Yeah. We could take it in. What are you doing? It's going to be right here. Uh, we try to use as little tape as possible, guys. For my idea, and then for uh, idea too. Put triangles. Yeah, let go. Let go. Look that. Wow, guys, look at us. Look at how far we got it. We got it, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five, five Yo, six. I never take no, L's. Oh. Never take L's. So for this, I actually did take a grade on it. What I did was I, I gave them all a benchmark, you know, starting grade. I said, we're all starting with a 90, and then we moved up or down depending on whether they accomplished the objectives. And the objectives uh, for us was 15 inches in height uh, for the first one. And if they accomplished the distance horizontally, uh, that distance minimum was 20, 24 inches. And if they, most of them, as long as it didn't just completely fall apart, uh, they met that. And so they would get, uh, they would get their points um, for making it first or second, and then they lost points if they just, you know, their product didn't stand the test of the last couple seconds. After all was said and done, uh, I brought them together, and if, if, if time allowed, if I timed it just right, I was able to ask them at least a couple questions. Um, as a group, I would discuss what were some things that structure-wise was a good idea, some of the ideas structure-wise that was a bad idea, things where they saw um, were giant faults and how they fixed those, and it really allowed us to have like a low-tech, really kind of engineering conversation. So in my head, you know, my teacher time, I was thinking, okay, 13 minutes for the first activity, 13 minutes for the second activity, and then three minutes in between, uh, so I was like, okay, well, about 26, uh, 26 to 30 minutes, but then I didn't I I anticipate all of the time on either side of that. Probably about three to four weeks, we'll probably do this another, another thing like this. And the idea would be that I would spend more time on the engineering questions uh, and kind of spend some time, then we're kind of really diving into what they were looking at and what they learned. Uh, and then hopefully we can anticipate some, uh, some of the problems. So this was a low-tech engineering challenge. Uh, I was really excited to watch the kids just kind of do something different. Uh, we've been doing a lot on the laptops, and now we just kind of put them aside and worked. Uh, and the kids got a chance to just be thinking and talking. Uh, a lot of good conversations came out of it. Uh, and you can kind of check it out from the video. Uh, you can watch the kids kind of just take ideas and just dismiss them or accept them and kind of, you know, defend their ideas, which is a really fun part as well. So use this idea in your classrooms and check out some of the videos to see if there's other ideas um, of projects that I'm doing that you could be using in your classroom. And if you have any ideas that you want to share, go ahead and throw them down in the comments.